Now time for our post-match report presented by Geico. We're here with head coach Jason Borelli. And Jason, obviously a bit of a lopsided score today, but both Jason Grimes and I thought that there were a lot of matches in here where your guys did some really good things, a lot of close matches, maybe a point or two the other way. It's a little bit better score tonight and a better performance. Yeah, I thought we wrestled hard. Um, I thought our lightweights went out and, and um, matched the intensity level right away and tried to give our team a little jolt. Um, and, you know, I think that is why some of the guys at the bottom of the, of the uh, dual meet wrestled well. Um, but, you know, they're a good team. Um, they're clearly better than us right now. We've got, a, we've got a long way to go to catch a team like that. And they're top, top 12, top 15 for a reason. And they're solid up and down. And, and um, you know, but we need to experience that. And, I was proud of our effort and, the, and the, kind of the grit and fight, and that those are the things that we're, we're trying to find victories right now, right? When we're a little bit, um, you know, a team that's got to that's got to claw our way to the top, and, and we got to find victories in other ways than just getting our hand raised on the mat. And I thought uh, I thought we our effort was good. Yeah, that's one thing you definitely said, and we saw that early with those lightweights of guys trying to uh, the intensity. That's what you were really looking for. Was hey, they might be better talent-wise than us, but we can match their fight. Did you think your team did that early on when it came to hustle and those type of things in those early matches? Yeah, I did. I thought um, you know, I thought Fallon, uh, Andy, 125 pounds, went out. And, you know, the, the disappointing thing is that sometimes, um, you know, you kind of you get your motor running a little too late. You match the intensity, but you miss on some opportunities. And he got in on two key areas to, to score and finish, uh, two positions where he could have scored and missed both of them and cost them the match. And But I think, yeah, I think the guys went out, and, and especially that that match and Jack, and even at 141 pounds, you know, we're, we're outmatched, right? We recognize the situation. They got a top five kid, a kid that's proven himself and been in the hunt to win national titles. And But, you know, we went out and wrestled and fought and, and scrapped. And, um, you know, you come out on losing end and you can't, you know, you, you know you can't be more anything more than proud for, of of a guy to go out even if he's outmatched and he uh, you know he wrestles hard and stays in the fight and, and fights for every point and makes the guy work for all his points. So I, I was really proud with um, just kind of our grit and effort. And Jason, you mentioned Jack Maida with a win and the second match of the night at 133. Tell us what you saw for him to kind of come back from an early deficit and get a nice win. Yeah, Jack's. You know he's got a lot of a lot of potential, a lot of talent. Now he's a true freshman, and as, as are so many guys in our lineup. We have a lot of, a lot of guys wrestling their first college season, but you know, really, I think one position won him that match. You know, for for someone who goes back and watches that, he got into a front headlock position on one of his takedowns at the end of the, or in the second period, where he looked like he wanted to stop wrestling and we're yelling, cram circle, pull, keep moving, bounce his head, and. Um, you know, he kind of looked over at us, and I thought he wanted to stop. And you know, it was like, you know, you got to wrestle in that position. It's big, and so he, and he did, and he scored, and he got on top, and he got a leg in, and started to recover right away. And that's a difference. That's a difference. If he doesn't score there, uh, he keeps that guy. You know, that guy mentally stays in the match. It's a, probably a different outcome. But because he hustled in one position, um, it was big for him. Well, you guys got to rest up. You got uh, two teams coming in on Sunday, and Hofstra and Duke. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. That's Jason Brelli. I'm Jeremy Huber. That is your Geico post-match report.